Signed, sealed and delivered. The government of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the African Export Import Bank have signed the agreement for the Bahamas to host the 31st AFRAXIM annual meetings and the third edition of the Afro-Caribbean Trade and Investment Forum. For the success of this union, what would it be? Would you, would you imagine it be a, a diversification away from reliance on your relationship with the United States, for example, visa-free travel exemptions for all African countries? If you could identify one single thing that would be your greatest goal within this collaboration, what would that be? Our country, um, my foreign minister, we have been working aggressively to, to look at the abolition of visa travel between African countries. We've already done so in a number of those, in a number of uh, countries, and we're continuing to do that. And we're also, at the same time, establishing uh, relationships, uh, uh, formal diplomatic relationships with varying countries. The AAM will be held here in Nassau, the Bahamas, from the 12th to the 14th of June, 2024. Acknowledging the work still to be done, Orama also showed his pride in the historic deals already done. The annual meeting gives us an opportunity to do an early celebration of the tremendous successes we've achieved these past two years. Some believe it's incredible. Just under two years ago, uh, we literally launched the, the um, Caribbean project. We opened the partnership agreement that uh, was intended to bring Caribbean states uh, into the membership of our Frexen Bank. Uh, signing the partnership agreement that is akin to the establishment agreement of the African Export Import Bank. Today, 11 of the 15 Caribbean states have signed, 9 have ratified. The agreement came into force literally a few weeks after uh, after it was opened uh, for signature. Uh, based on that, um, Afro Zimbabwe Board of Directors approved a limit of $1.5 billion for the Caric CARICOM countries to rise to $3 billion when the other remaining four countries join. Highlighting the possibility of greater collaboration on an immediately tangible level will be the local economy and markets on display at the Grand Bahama Island. We are developing an Afro-Caribbean marketplace in conjunction with AfroXM Bank. And so we're excited where to have all 54 African countries represented, about 20 countries in the Caribbean, as well as the islands of the Bahamas, where you get a taste of what each country has to offer. So it's the food, the art, the craft, the culture. Um, and we look at it as being an amazing opportunity for trade, for logistics, for those who want to experience Africa in one place, experience the Caribbean in one place. And so we're really, really excited about this project. Indeed, there's much to look forward to. And with that, the first bricks along the last stretch toward the Afrexim annual meeting and the Afro-Caribbean Investment Forum are paved with the hopes and anticipation of two regions and their joint collaborative future looking ahead. Adifemi Akinsoya, Arise News, Nassau, the Bahamas.